Hi everyone, this is an example of how to do a voltaic cell question. I have the notation set up here given to me for this silver cadmium voltaic cell. I have a silver electrode, silver ions, then the salt bridge, cadmium 2 plus ions, cadmium salt. The notation is given to me, maybe I even had to work out the notation myself, from this silver cadmium voltaic cell. What I can do is the notation acts like a list where, yes, water is also present, but that it's not likely that water is going to be part of the reaction. So I'm just working through the data booklet has solid silver listed as a reducing agent, oxidizing agent here, silver ions, cadmium ions, and a reducing agent for the cadmium salt. It is a good rule of thumb that we're going to have our two reducing agents on the outside. Out of the two reducing agents, the one that's lower down on the table is the strongest one. Here, it's the cadmium. Out of the two oxidizing agents, the one that's higher up is going to be the stronger one. It's the silver. The strongest oxidizing agent for its half reaction, I'm going to just copy it out of the data book. That's Ag plus gains an electron to become silver salt. That reduction is going to take place at the cathode. This is the cathode half reaction. The strongest reducing agent, its half reaction I'm going to find in the data booklet and reverse it. That oxidation happens at the anode. To find that net cell reaction, I'm going to balance the electrons here. I have to multiply the silver half reaction by 2. I have the cathode half reaction, the anode half reaction, and now the net cell reaction. Reminder that the cathode is the positive electrode, the anode is the negative electrode. Electrons are always going to flow from the anode to the cathode. If we look at it, here we have a gain of electrons, here we have loss of electrons. If we look really closely, we can see that we're going to be consuming silver ions and making more silver solid, the mass of the silver electrode is going to increase as time goes by. The cadmium solid, we're converting into cadmium ions. The mass of the cadmium anode is going to go down as the cell operates. The final thing that we will do for this example is to calculate the voltage. What's the net cell potential of this voltaic cell? E net it equals the cathode minus the anode. I'm just going to the data booklet to look up these numbers. The cathode was the silver. The silver line in the data booklet is at positive 0 0.80. 0 0.80 volts. Subtract. The anode, I'm looking up this line, the anode, the cadmium line, is at negative 0 0.4, minus, minus 0 0.40 volts, 0.80 minus, minus 0.40, 1.20 volts. Again, voltaic reactions are always spontaneous. They always produce a voltage. We must get a positive answer right there. When we have the notation, we don't have to have a picture. We can take the notation and use it as our list. 
to identify the strongest oxidizing agent, strongest reducing agent, the cathode half reaction, the anode half reaction, the net cell reaction, and by using the values in the data booklet, we can calculate the net cell potential, the voltage of the voltaic cell. And I hope that helps.